Whoop, there we go. What's going on, guys? A jam, a sky. We are on our next episode of the red chapter, which is pretty cool because I actually got a chance to do some offline grinding. So that is what is up. So let's go over our team real quick. Bulbasaur is level 19. Um, I've tried reading online, trying to figure out what level Bulbasaur evolves at, and I think it's some later on level, which is kind of weird because originally Bulbasaur evolves at level 19, so apparently Bulbasaur is going to evolve at some later level, I guess. Poliwhirl is level 17. Uh, let's see, he's got same moves from last time. Uh, Bulbasaur learned Razor Leaf, so that is something good that we have. We have Razor Leaf. Let's see, Nidorino, I believe, is still the same level from last time, and Pikachu is now level 20. It knows Thundershock now, and it's got Focus Punch. Let's see, and I tested off screen if we were able to fight off this Gyarados, and we were actually able to defeat it, so that is what we're going to do this time. Hopefully, do what we did offline, and hopefully, put this into the video so we can actually defeat this level 20 Gyarados. So what we're going to try and do is hopefully get some Razor Leaf on this Gyarados. So we got that going. Okay, we lived off of one health, so we got some of that going. So Bulbasaur is going to uh, die from that. We're going to go into Poliwhirl. Hopefully get an Ice Beam going. And it's going to continue with Thrash, which is fine. Gonna go into Nidoran, or Nidorino, my bad. And we're gonna go for a double kick, hopefully. Gonna go for the bite. It is now poison, which is good. So that is good. Uh, that's not gonna do too much, which is fine. It's hurt by poison. Gonna go for a peck, snapped out of confusion, which is fine. We're not gonna live from that. We do have our Pikachu, so hopefully Pikachu can help us out here. Still hurt by poison. This is actually a little bit of a different outcome, which is quite interesting. But we're going to go for the Thundershock and critical hit. There we go. Got rid of the Gyarados. Everyone came in clutch. Well, Pikachu came in clutch, which is good. So we finally got rid of the Gyarados. Now, Pokeball. Good job, Bulbasaur. Return. Uh, I never expected to see a Pokemon that huge in an area like this. Uh, was it a wild Pokemon? Phew. Uh, thanks a bunch. Gyarados is a water Pokemon. It shouldn't even be here in the first place. Uh, that's what I thought, so why is it? Uh, that Gyarados wasn't a wild Pokemon, it was mine. What? I was raising it up until last week when somebody stole it when it came back. It wasn't nice anymore. It was enraged like what you just saw. Well, now everything is okay, thanks to you. No, it's never okay when a Pokemon goes berserk. Uh, the people who stole your Gyarados must have done it. I'm going to kick their butt by the way. Where are those thieves? Sigh. If I knew, I'd, uh, if I knew, don't you think I'd be there? Oh, since this Gyarados was yours, you should take it back. Uh, yep, there we go. We gave Gyarados back to Misty, so that's good. Uh, maybe the professor knows something. Let's call him. And you know what? We actually, we actually saw this exact same thing in the green episode. We saw the exact same thing when Misty and Red were in the Pokemon Center. So this is exactly what happened when we went through the green chapter. This is something that actually happened. So that's actually pretty darn cool. Uh, Jam, it's been a while. Uh, uh, that's Professor Oak. He's the world leading expert on a Pokemon. Wow. Uh, any closer to completing the Pokedex? Sure am. I have already got new data this morning. And by the way, Professor Oak, I need to ask you something. Uh, you need to ask. What? Really? Hmm. Uh, you don't say. Uh, so the Pokemon refused to listen to the trainer after only a few days. It sounds like Team Rocket to me. Uh, Jam and Misty, Team Rocket. Uh, yes, they are the secret cr crime s uh, syndicate that uses Pokemon for their own evil purposes. Rumor has it that they've only u that they've been using the uh, using lab experimentations on Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon used as experiments. 
I know it's very upsetting, but there is something you can do to help. On Mount Moon, a special rock called Moonstone are found there. Moonstone? Uh, it's special stone. It's a special stone that is said to boost the power of your Pokemon. Team Rocket is most likely searching for it as well. Alrighty, so that is what we're going to be doing, getting to Mount Moon. Also, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, check out the links in the description below. Uh, what is it? I'm going with you. Mount Moon is on the way back to my hometown. If I come with you, I'm bound to run into a lot of trainers I know. Then maybe I can also find out more about this Team Rocket. You don't think you can take on? I'm a water Pokemon expert. I should be fine. Uh, the name's Misty. I'm from Cerulean City. Uh, nice to meet ya. Now let's go. So I guess we're teaming up as a double battle, which is quite interesting, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, let's figure out what this item is right here. An escape rope, so that's good. Um, interesting how... That's kind of... Uh, not sure if that's a glitch or anything. I don't know if Misty's supposed to be in front of us. So she's speaking some weird language there, which is interesting. Okay, so she's got a Vulpix, so maybe it's not a double battle, but that's fine. So we're gonna go with our Bulbasaur. We're gonna do some stuff here. He's gonna go for a Confusion Ray, which is fine. Probably not the best ideal to have Bulbasaur out front, even though this is a Fire-type on a Grass-type. Gonna go for the Razor Leaf, that's not gonna do a whole lot of damage, but we're actually going to switch out into Poliwhirl, because we've got that water advantage here. So we're gonna go for a Water Gun, get this Vulpix out of here. Gonna go for the Fire Spin, that's not gonna do a whole lot of damage, but that's gonna trap us in a Vortex. So that's still not gonna do a whole lot of damage, which is fine. Gonna take out the Vulpix just like that. Polyworld's gonna be level 18 now. Trying to learn a Rain Dance. I don't think we want Rain Dance. Yeah, we don't want Rain Dance. That's fine. Okay. Abra. So I think we can take on this Abra. Let's go for an Ice Beam. Yep, it's just, it's just gonna try and use Teleport, which unfortunately it can't go anywhere because it's in battle. So we're just going to go for the double slap. And just like that. Take it out as fast as possible. Alright, so she's speaking different language, which is kind of weird. But we are going to continue. Uh, can we go into here? Okay, so we can. So we got Dig, which is pretty cool. Uh, we are going to talk to this Clefairy. That's not going to do anything for us. Alright, we're going to run from this in battle here. We're going to see onwards to Cerulean City. Okay. Not sure if that's a glitch. That was actually kind of weird. She just disappeared, I guess. Hmm. Unless she's still in there. Do we want to see if she's still in there? Yeah, she's still in there. Okay. So that's kind of weird. Not sure if that's a, a glitch or anything. Kind of interesting. Uh, but I think that's fine. She'll end up following us anyways, right? We will see what's going on through here. And if we can stop running into a battle, that would actually be nice. Uh, but we will see where this way leads. Okay, running into battles, totally fine. We'll just go ahead and run from them. So we have an item down here, Thick Club. What exactly does that do? Uh, let's see, a hard bone of some sort to be held by Cubone or Marowak raises the attack stat. Okay, so this is not the way we need to go. Do not know the way. Alrighty, enough with the... Uh, Enough with that meme. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of weird memes out there. Quite interesting ones. And some that are just kind of dead by now. Okay, explosion. Totally fine. We can resist that. Gonna go for another Voltorb, I think. All he has are Voltorbs. 
I'm honestly not sure. He's just gonna go for explosion, which is not really the best ideal. Because I only have four Pokemon. Yep, Voltorb. He's just gonna try and take out my. Oh, prevents. Alrighty, there we go. We can finally take out. Yep. Polyworld can. can bypass the amazing explosion, so we can definitely take out these Voltorbs. So that is something we can do. So we're gonna stick with Polyworld for now. We might have to go back and heal up. Okay, come on, double slot, please. Thank you. Gonna go for the uh, double slap, go for the water gun. Hopefully to help out a little bit. Okay, yep. Go for another water gun. That should take out the Voltorb just like so. Cool. Level 19. <clears throat> Gonna go for two more Voltorbs here. Because that is what this person has. And it's a good thing we can actually bypass the explosions. Because I think that's all these Voltorbs have are just explosion. Which honestly I think is kind of an annoyance move. That just kind of takes out your team pretty much. Unless they're like really high level. But there is that. So Last Voltorb which is fine. Go for the water. Oh okay it's got struggle. That's fine. Totally fine. You can just struggle its way out of the battle anyways. Gonna hit with recoil. And go for the water gun. There we go. Just like that. Also, if you guys haven't checked out the Steam community, make sure to do that. Request to join, and I will accept all of you guys as soon as possible. Uh, we got some cool people in there so far. We got a good team of moderators and whatnot for being able to help out with the amazing Steam community. A lot of games that we play there and whatnot. Oh, there's Misty. Well, Misty decided to come out, so that's fine. Let's go back into the Pokemon Center, heal up, and we will go ahead and continue through Mount Moon and hopefully get to Cerulean City. Alrighty. Right into Mount Moon. So we are going to run. Misty's going to follow behind us, which I think originally was supposed to happen. So that's fine. So I think we'll have to end up fighting this dude right here if we have not battled him. Which is fine. Yep, we'll have to battle him. So that's what we'll do. And that is the only other way to get through this cave, probably. He's got a Mankey. So we are just going to lead with our... Yep, we can resist a low kick, so that's fine. I'm going to take out our low chop, my bad. We're just going to go for the Razor Leaf, take out the Mankey. Just like so. Get up to level 20. He's got a Rhyhorn. We should be able to, uh, should be able to take out his Rhyhorn. Yep, super effective. There we go. Gonna go for the Horn Attack. That is fine. We can resist that. Go for the Razor Leaf. Just like so. Not sure if we'll level up at level 20. Let's see. We're now level 20. Alrighty, let's see if... Okay, so we don't get the level up. We don't get the evolve. We do have potions, however, so that is what we'll do. We'll heal up with our potions. we got a, another Clefable. So I think we need to go uh, this way right here. So let's go ahead and run from this uh, Geodude, because this Geodude has nothing to do with us. Okay, so this is the correct way. I think we could have gone around... We could have gone around this dude, but you know what? Since we ran in front of him, that's fine. He's got him a chop. We can easily take on him a chop. Razor Leaf, go! Okay, low sweep. Yeah, we can definitely resist that. Hopefully enough to, uh... Okay. Oh, well then. Seems like Machop is a bit faster than us. Gonna go for the low sweep. Live on two health, that's fine. Go for the Razor Leaf. There we go. Alrighty. Took out Ned. And we're going to have to heal up again. Which is fine. We have enough potions. There we go. That should be good enough. 
Let's go ahead and go down here, figure out what Team Rocket's doing. Hmm, somebody's there. Those uniforms, are they Team Rocket? Can you hear me, sir? Okay, there's still no sign of the Moonstone. What was that? Okay, got it. Roger that. Uh, what's our orders? If anyone interferes, use extreme force. Uh, I'm going to go on ahead. Uh, we'll regroup later. Alright, so Misty's going to go on ahead, help us out here. While we figure out a way to get through this. So there's an item right here, which is an ether. Ether, ether, however. However you want to say it. I mean, it's ether, but you know. So we're just going to go right, grab that. We're going to go this way, which is originally where we're supposed to be going. But it's always good to find items that you can get, because you can use them later on. So we are going to go through this way. We'll have to obviously fight these grunts, which is fine, because that's perfectly what we need to do anyways. It's got a Zubat and a Coughing. Hopefully we should be able to take them out. Razor Leaf is going to attack both of them. We can go for the Water Gun on Coughing. Go ahead and take that out. It's going to go for Astonish. Got our Razor Leaf going, so that is fine. Got our Crit on Coughing, which is good. Assurance. Ooh, that was a crit. Okay. So we are just going to go for that. Double kick or double slap. Okay. There we go. Four times. Awesome. Wasn't sure how many times that was going to work, but there we go. 21 on Bulbasaur. Sweet Scent. I don't want Sweet Scent. Yes. And we're at level 20. Awesome. And that kind of Fuse Ray. Just perfect. But we've got our Razor Leaf, so that is perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to go for another Razor Leaf, and we're going to switch out into Pikachu here. Going to go for the Astonish, which is fine. Oops, we're flinched. Razor Leaf. And we'll go for the Thundershock, because it is a flying type, so we can definitely take that out. Just like that. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our potions. We're going to need to buy some more potions later on. Do we have anything else? We do not. Okay, that's fine. We will just go ahead and continue through Mount Moon. Hopefully get out of Mount Moon into Cerulean City. Okay, yep. Fight another grunt, which is fine. We had to fight a bunch of grunts in the original red, blue, yellow, fire red, and leaf green, so that's perfectly fine. I should have actually uh, Pikachu up front just because they're using Zubats and that would be perfect ideal. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll have Pikachu up front to easily KO the Zubats. Coughing, perfectly fine. We've got our speed boost, which is good, so hopefully we're faster. Yep, there we go. It's going to go for sludge, and we're poisoned. Cool. But we still have a speed boost, so that's fine. We're going to go for the Thundershock once again, take out the coughing. Level 21. Slam. Um, let's see. I think... That's 80, 75, 140. Um, I mean, all of them are accuracy 100%. This one's only 75%, so I don't think we want Slam. Just because it's not 100%. And we have an Ekans. So what we'll do is we'll switch out to Bulbasaur here. <clears throat> and we'll go for our razor leaf and hopefully that does some damage that's not going to do anything okay all right so now we're paralyzed which is fine let's go into polyworld hopefully we can use polyworld to actually take on this ekans here i'm gonna go for a poison sting go for our ice beam hopefully take out ekans there we go critical hit awesome 
Okay. So we did that. I don't think we have... Okay, we have an antidote. So that is something we can do. But we don't have anything for paralyze. So that's something that we need to buy stuff for, if possible. We will use some potions here just to heal up. We are running low on potions, so that is something that we will have to end up buying once we get out of this here cave. Okay, so yep, we're going to have to fight him, go around, and hopefully get out to Cerulean City, because we're basically close. So we'll just go ahead and talk to you, so we don't have to run in front of you. He's got one Pokemon, Drowsy. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch into Poliwhirl here. I'm gonna go for a Headbutt, which is fine. We'll just use our Ice Beam here. All right, gonna go for Poison Gas, which is not necessarily great. We're almost out of here, which is good. Let's go for the Water Gun. Yeah, we should be able to uh, take this. Go for another water gun and hopefully take it out. Okay, that's fine. Disable all you want. We still have our ice beam. And we have double slap too, so we can use our double slap to get rid of the drowsy as well. So we did that. Okay. We got rid of him. Uh, do we have... Okay, we don't have any more antidotes. We do have potions, so it would be useless to actually use these potions. We should have thought better on this, I think. We do have escape ropes, but I don't want to have to use them is the thing. Um, hmm. How many escape ropes do we have? We have one escape rope, okay. That's fine. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, so you were responsible for injuring my uh, comrades. Okay. So that is what we'll do. We'll take on both of these here. Use Razor Leaf. And we will switch out into Pikachu here. Hopefully Pikachu can help us. Both using Disable, which isn't going to do anything. <clears throat> Go for that. We'll use Focus Punch on a Drowsy here. And it's going to go for the Poison Gas. Okay. Sludge on at you, which is fine. There we go. We got that going. Just like so. Okay, and got that speed boost going. Got the poison, which is fine. Go for that and a thunderbolt. Alrighty. Took that out with that. Okay. Grr. We lost. Uh, let's get out of here. I won't forget this boy. Okay, so I think what we'll actually do is we'll just end up using... We'll end up using our escape rope just to get out. I honestly don't mind going back through. It's just annoying that we have to go back and heal is the thing. Um, so that is our only escape rope which is fine we'll end up running into a bunch of battles again which is fine I didn't think we were I don't think we were able to buy any uh, repels and if we were I don't know if we were able to buy them I don't know um, but there's no turning back that is for sure all we need to do is get out of Mount Moon into Cerulean City and we'll buy some items from there <coughs> Okay, so back through Mount Moon. Running into wild Pokemon, which is perfectly fine. We've got our uh, speed up abilities. 
So that is what we're doing. We might come back into, if we can, we might come back into uh, Mount Moon to grab anything that we missed. We just want to get out of Mount Moon and into Cerulean is what we want. So that is the main focus and then after that I believe we might be able to battle Misty which is going to be good because we have Pikachu to help us out as well as our Bulbasaur because it's grass type and we have that to help us out. So there's some items that we're probably going to be missing unless we just take this item which is a potion so that's helpful. Um, okay, so I think there's a few more items that we might end up missing which is fine. We'll probably come back for them at a later point. It would be nice if we had repels, actually. That would be nice. We might buy some repels once we get to Cerulean, which will also help out. So we've got an item right here. We're at 26 minutes. So we got a few more minutes to go, which is fine. We'll go and grab protein right here. And hopefully if we can stop running into battles, we can get right through into Cerulean. So we'll take this here, figure out what's going on here. Starmie, Hydro Pump. Nay, nice. uh, that's the last of them. The exit is up ahead. Alrighty, so that is what we'll do. Go right through here. Not sure what uh, Misty's doing right here. Oh no, it's just Cerulean City. Okay. So that is fine. Let's just go ahead and continue. We are finally close. If it isn't Tom Sawyer and a little Becky in the cave. Who's you? Uh, you're Team Rocket. So you have heard of us. I am flattered. So let's do it. Let's battle. Okay, so that is what we'll do. We will take on this dude right here. He's got a, a Rhyhorn. Perfectly fine. We can take it on with a, a Razor Leaf. Perfectly fine. Got that Fury Attack going. We should be able to take it out with one more Razor Leaf. Go for the Razor Leaf. Just like so. And took out the Rhyhorn. Level 22. Awesome. And we defeated the Team Rocket dude. Uh, my Pokemon may not look uh, like much, but they are such... They are sure, they sure are powerful. Sorry, I can't read today. Uh, let's see, this takes me back to my childhood. Now let me show you the cruelty of adults. Uh, he's injecting something into his Rhyhorn. Uh-oh, it's a Rhydon now. Evolved Rhydon into a Rhydon. Rhyhorn into a Rhydon. Uh, yes, but with an injection. Uh, my Gyarados, is that what you did to it? Uh, what should I know? You can't expect us to remember every Pokemon that we experimented on. Uh, you arrogant star, you attack. Hmm, Horn Drill. <clears throat> You'll pay for this. Maybe another lifetime kid, Rhyhorn, kill him. Alright, so now we have to take on his Rhyhorn, right on. Which should be perfectly fine. It's gonna go. We didn't get a chance to heal up again, which is kind of dumb. And yep. That did not help us any. So we are going to go into here, use our Ice Beam on from Polywhirl. Hopefully we can, um, since it's super effective, if we're able to actually freeze it, that would be nice. Okay, we flinched. It's going to go for a scary face. Let's go for our Ice Beam. One more Ice Beam should do it, which is good. Alright, take out this Rhydon. There we go. Just like that. 21. Awesome. Body Slam. Do we want Body Slam? Uh, let's see. 1585. 185. So let's go ahead and get rid of Double Slap. That will be helpful. Okay. Awesome. What? Uh, the entire Mount Moon is shaking. I'm carrying Misty. Uh, I found a Moonstone. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Oh, yeah we are. <laughs> Alright, so we are finally out of Mount Moon. We are out 
out of map moon we are at our 30 minutes which is fine so that is what we're doing we're saving if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new to channel check out the links in the description below i will see all of you guys in the next one stay cool